It's, it was tough losing my job. I mean, it's a real knock to the, to the ego and it's a real knock to the pocketbook at the same time. I don't think you can help but kind of take it as a bit of a personal attack. It, uh, it weighs on you pretty heavily. I'm the type of person, you know, that takes care of those responsibilities that you've, you've brought into your own life. It's not just you you're worrying about now, right? You've got a wife, you've got kids, and no matter what uh, gets dulled out to you, you've got to keep pushing on for them. When I first lost my job, it was tough because, you know, your cost of living is used to a certain amount. It was, uh, it was tough. It was discouraging when you first start looking for work. When I first connected with Lutherwood, I, I had no idea the, uh, the vast services that they offered to me. It was fantastic. What we do is try to support individuals right away, right when they walk in the resource center, to start talking about, you know, where are you coming from, where do you hope to go, and how can we get you started in that process. For employment services, really we have services and programming to support individuals at all stages of their career exploration and their job search. So whether it's looking for a first job, whether it's looking to make a career change, exploring training opportunities in second careers or apprenticeship, regardless of where someone's at with their job search or their career exploration, we can support them in that. Some individuals might be coming into the resource centre and just need a computer to work on, whereas we can go right through to supporting individuals on a one-on-one -on -one basis um, with an employment advisor as well. I never encourage someone to, to go in and take a job that they don't want to take. I'm here to listen to them and what they want. People in their, in their communities, in their family network are telling them to take any survival job. It's important for me to really listen to what the person wants as opposed to what they're being told to do. I was considering getting into the firefighting field, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna go down and get them to pay for my, uh, my AZ if I qualify for second careers, because somebody told me firefighting wasn't an option. And uh, when I was at one of their information sessions, the, uh, the woman running it was like, absolutely firefighting is. So it, uh, it worked out well. As employment advisors, we know that everyone has different career goals. Once we get to know each client a little bit better, we can help them customize an action plan to meet their goals. Lutherwood did a ton for me. They helped me get through the second career portion of uh, my schooling, helped me you know, get the application process done, all that kind of stuff. And then when schooling was done, it was nice to be able to get your resume built up in a way that is, is geared towards firefighting. And it, I think the biggest thing it did is not only did it give me a new resume, it gave me confidence going into the application process for firefighting that I, I had a resume that could stand up or exceed some of the other ones out there. I don't think people really understand the, the full range of services that Lutherwood is able to offer them. Working with Lutherwood is, is very much like having a headhunter in your own back pocket. Priority is definitely finding sustainable and meaningful long-term employment. So not looking for something that's you know temporary or a band-aid solution, but looking for something that's going to support that individual moving forward. When you've lost your job and the financial struggles are kind of building up against you, it's a huge bonus that Lutherwood services are free. Anytime you talk about unemployment, people are struggling financially. They shouldn't have to pay a lot of money to access services, and they don't need to. At the end of the day, the reason why we're here is because we want to help people. I want to be able to take control of things myself. I just didn't know where to go. I need that, I need that extra help, that push kind of to get me going that way. Things are, uh, things are better now. I was able to uh, land a job that's going to kind of build my resume a little bit better towards firefighting and uh, really gave me a lot of confidence going forward because when you have a resume that speaks for itself and is, is so well put together, you know when you get to that point and you've handed that resume over, you've done what you can and it's a good feeling to have. I believe when you get knocked down, you just get right back up again. I feel like now I'm finally taking control of my own future.